Hello everyone, welcome back. Please comment and subscribe guys, comment and subscribe, like the videos. Also want to thank everyone that does watch, like, and share my videos. You folks are the absolute best. Without further ado, it's time to talk about it, alright? Sam is back. He has been cleared to play uh, by the doctors. So it looks like the motto has, has been put behind him. So it looks like he's going to be our starter, uh, you know, against the Cowboys. And I'm just wondering what kind of physical shape he truly is going to be in when he comes back. We all know he hasn't played since week one. Mono definitely takes a toll on your body. Just because he's cleared, it's like, you know, will there still be, you know, a little bit of lasting effects from the mono? You know, how will that affect him going forward? So that's something I think we'll see and, and figure out as the process continues to work and go on as he continues to, you know, pull further away from, from the issues um, with, with, the, with the mono. The second thing I'm thinking about is Adam Gaze is out of excuses, dude. A lot of people were looking at him and saying, well, you can't really blame him for the offense and what's going on because, you know, look, he's dealing with Luke Falk or he's dealing with Trevor Simeon. Listen, the offense was bad week one and Sam was starting, okay? If the offense continues to look bad with Sam in there now, I mean, what, what can you say? What can you really say about it? If the play calling to, continues to look as vanilla and as you know, transparent as it's been looking, then what else can you say? I mean, the offense literally so far is telegraphed where the ball is going at times. Um, the other thing that bothers me is the offensive line. Got to get it together. They can't they can block anybody. They can't block anybody. Nobody can be blocked by this offensive line. And let me tell you something. We got our franchise quarterback back, and now you guys are getting him you know, rocked left and right because you guys can't, you know, sure up what's going on up front, that's not going to be good either. So this offensive line's got to get it together. Whatever we got to do, move and shake. If we got to bench guys, bench Khalil, have Harrison start. If we need that to be happening, that's what needs to happen. There needs to be moves made so that Sam, in particular, does not get killed out there, man. Because, again, this is our franchise quarterback. So, like I said, Adam Gaze, you know, again, for, for everybody, he's been out of excuses in my book, but he is definitely out of excuses now when it started coming back. So we'll see how innovative and how, how much of a guru he is going forward, I guess. Because <laughs> uh, there's a lot of people questioning things that, he, that he's doing. So uh, we'll definitely be talking about this tonight on Let's Talk Jets Radio. We are live at 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, go ahead and call in. Our number is 929-477-2651. Also, comment down below, folks. You know, I love connecting with you people. I love hearing your thoughts, what you think, uh, your takes on things. So comment down below and let me know what you folks think as well about Sam being back in the fold, Sam being our starter again, uh, coming back against the Cowboys. So you folks have a good day. Can't wait to read your comments. Peace.